My name is Jeremy Carnahan. I'm a wastewater operations supervisor for the Cascadia Wastewater Treatment Facility. The facility was designed to serve the Tahale community. So as the community continues to grow and more houses are built, more wastewater comes to the facility. Here at Pierce County, we take pride in producing clean water, but doing that effectively, efficiently, and having a clean facility. The process starts over here in the headworks, where the water is brought in and screened. This is where all the wastewater begins its journey through the process. This piece of equipment is a fine screen. Its main job is removing large matter from the wastewater as it comes into the facility. After everything is screened, the water travels down below us into a trough and it goes over to be measured. This is a sampler. We use this machine to sample wastewater on a time period and that sample we will use to represent all of the wastewater that came through the facility for the day. So down here, what we have is a partial flume. This is a device used to measure water as it flows through the facility. After the flume, the wastewater drops down into a pipe where it's mixed into the aeration basin. This is the first chance that the biomass gets to react with the wastewater to consume the solids out of it and start the treatment process. In the aeration basin, we provide an environment for this microorganism to do its work. We don't have control over the amount of food that comes in. That's coming through the sewer system. What we do control is the amount of mouths at the table. So we have to waste microorganisms out of the system to maintain the balance of food to microorganisms. And this we call the bog of eternal stench. You'll notice that the color is brown. And that's not because of the wastewater coming in, that's actually the color of the biomass itself. So in the last stage of the wastewater treatment process, we are actually filtering the clean water out of the microorganisms that are moved over into this basin. Inside this basin, there are a number of cassettes with filters. We actually have pumps pulling the clean water through those filters and pumping it back up the hill. These are permeate pumps, and these pumps are pulling directly off the membranes that we just looked at, and these are pumping out now the clean water that has been treated in the facility. This machine is disinfecting the wastewater as it is pumped out of the system. We're using ultraviolet light to disinfect any pathogens which may still be in this wastewater as it's leaving the facility to the drain field. Like we had to sample in the beginning of the process, we now have another sample from the end of the process. We use this sample to compare against the first sample to make sure that we're doing the proper amount of removal in the system. We're in the motor control center. This room is where all the power comes into the facility and all of that power is now diverted out to each piece of equipment in the facility. We monitor everything that's going on through a very large computer that's controlling all of the equipment inside the facility. It's important for me to relay how much work and how much effort goes into keeping these pollutants out of the environment. I love the fact that I get to go home every day and know that I made an impact on saving the environment and helping the Puget Sound.